And there was an emotional scene in Lower Manhattan this morning when some remains of unidentified victims of the 9-11 terror attack were moved from the medical examiner's office where they had been stored back to ground zero. As Christine Johnson reports, it was a solemn occasion and not without controversy. The remains arrived in three separate caskets draped in the American flag. It was a silent procession. Right now, those remains sit 70 feet below the ground inside a room at the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. For some victims, it will be their final resting place, but for others, only a temporary place to rest until the medical examiner's office can make a positive identification. Some families are okay with this decision. Monica Eichen Murphy is on the museum's board, and she feels her husband Michael's remains are back where they belong. This is where they all took their last breath, their last step, and on that day, and I feel they're together at home. But others, like Rosemary Kane, are angry, feeling like they didn't have a say in this decision. They wore black bands over their mouths. We were never given consultation. I'm his mother. Nobody said to me, do you give your blessing to our plans? That's all we asked for. The mere fact the remains are stored at a tourist attraction just doesn't sit well with some of these families, even though they'll be kept out of the public eye. I'm very proud that this has come together. Charles Wolf's wife is among the 41 percent still unidentified. For now, he says this is where he can feel close to her. It's the fulfillment. It's, it's, if you want closure, it's the closure that something we fought for for a long, long time has happened. A six-day dedication period of the September 11th Memorial Museum will begin on Thursday. President Obama and the First Lady will be here. And, Jim, it opens to the public on May 21st. Christine Johnson in Lower Manhattan for us tonight. Christine, thank you.